Hey, welcome to VSP TV. Today, really excited. I have James Callashaw and Paolo. Paolo, what's your surname? My surname is Lima. Paolo Lima. Lima. Yes. Excellent. Um, now, Paolo just did an internship with James, and we just thought it'd be good to get an insight into what that entails, both for the business owner as well as for the intern, because it's really important that both sides get uh, a good experience of this. James, you're from the Catalysis Group. That's right. Specialising in process uh, automation. Process and automation. Yeah, as, as we were discussing the other day, there's still not quite an industry name for that people who do that stuff yet. Yeah, one day, one day we'll find out what that is. One day. Um, so in doing process and automation, that's a really broad range of different stuff that you could end up be doing for your clients. Yeah, it's correct. Obviously, you've got like um, the the core of process, which is, you know, defining processes, um, mapping them out, making sure they're fluid, the workflows work, uh, right through to integration and automation so that you don't necessarily need um, hands on the ground to uh, affect those processes. So in short, you just make business simple for people. 100%, yeah. We love making things simple. Um, removing redundant activity, uh, minimizing effort, um, just to run your business simply. Uh, that's what we specialize in. Fantastic. Now, the project that you identified for Paolo, um, what was that? Uh, so the project was to help a client um, get ready for ISO certification, so 9001 and yep. 27001. <clears throat> which are sort of two really important ISO certifications that you can get, um, particularly if you want uh, government contracts or you want to um, display to your clients that you have good standards, good quality standards in place. Um, and so one of our clients uh, was wanting to achieve that, but there's a fair bit of groundwork involved in getting set up at the start. Um, and that's where we sort of uh, put the word out for an intern um, who's got some experience in doing so, uh, and we found Paolo. So, so what do you call someone that does that? What's their job title? Uh, so uh, Paolo is effectively a business yeah. analyst. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very generic, SCTV but obviously with a... Uh, yep. Because I think great to Now it's your turn, Paolo. <laughs> we're going to grill you. Now, so you've um, come to Australia to study. What university were you going to? I'm studying at uh, Central Queensland University, uh, CQU. Yep, fantastic. Where'd you come from? I'm coming from Brazil, Sao Paulo. Fantastic. So, um, and over there, you've had vast experience in business already. Yes, I, I do. Um, I had the opportunity to start working in 2000 uh, for uh, one of the biggest bank in Brazil. And that's where I started my career. And I, I worked for this company for almost 14 years. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, you've done a variety of different roles there and doing a lot of business analyst style of role over there. And then you've come to Australia and thought, hey, I'd like to get local qualifications to boost my employability here, yeah? Yes, definitely. Um, that was one of my dreams, uh, to learn English, firstly, and then being able to uh, expand my knowledge, being able to communicate with people, you know, from different countries, and then uh, also achieve as different positions in higher position in a company. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, the qualification that you're doing at Central Queensland University was? Uh, was a Master's of Information Technology. Fantastic, so a Master's of Information Technology. And I do know that um, there's always a range of business analysts and IT related uh, people that they're looking for internships for. So this particular project for you, um, how well was it set up before you came along? Well, uh, James was very clear with his uh, expectations and our, our client as well. They wanted to achieve uh, the certifications of ISO 19001 quality management system, which is the foundation of for every company. 
every small or big company must have this certification to be able to get a bigger um, comp compete with bigger companies and get bigger jobs, bigger projects. So this is the main goal for LOA, the company uh, Law and Earth, where we are working at. And also the, uh, the second certification 27001, which is information system, uh, information system management, which, uh, which re, uh, look after confidentiality, in the, um, integrity and availability of the, infor of the data, how to secure the data. Obviously very important. Having that banking background will be really uh, a great asset in relation to that, I'm sure. So James, how, talk to us a, a little bit about the flow of the project. How hard was it for you to manage? Uh, I guess uh, my management style is quite um, oh, yeah, different, I guess you could say, to most people. So I like to provide direction, um, provide the scope of the work, and then find the people like Paolo that can actually deliver um, and deliver with guidance rather than, um, you know, hand-holding, um, which is something uh, that I found with a lot of the interns um, and especially Paolo is that they bring a lot of experience. So, you know, Paolo worked at a, a major bank for, as you said, 14 years. So it's not like he's a fresh out of uni candidate. Um, he's got that work experience. Um, he understands how larger businesses work um, and yeah, I was able to, I guess, set up the direction of the project and then we just had regular weekly touch points um, throughout the weeks uh, that he was with us just to guide through well, what, what are we doing, what are we achieving, any roadblocks um, and then where are our opportunities to, um, you know, challenge what we're doing. Fantastic. So any challenges uh, from your client's point of view? Uh, none so far. Um, Laura and her team are quite happy with obviously what Palo has delivered um, and what we're delivering in terms of you know some simple processes, but also compliant processes. Um, and yes, yeah, so everything's been great so far. I think he's uh, almost amalgamated into their workforce. Fantastic. Now, Paolo, you're actually uh, this is the last step for you for actually completing your masters, yeah? Yeah, this is my last step. Um, yeah, and then. I choose this pathway. Actually, I needed to be eligible for uh, to achieve, to be able to participate in a in internship uh, where I needed to score certain level. And then yeah. through through the years, through the last two years, I was able to uh, complete my masters with uh, honors B, um, and then be eligible for and, and choose the company I I, I wanted to work for. In, the, in back that back that time, I, I had two options, um, and then I spoke to James, and his project was related to my previous experience, and then I think I thought I, we could do a good work together and deliver a good project for the for for our client, and then that's why, I, and I'm very glad, I'm very ha happy with the opportunity I had in this company. And that's a really cool thing about this intern program is that both the interns and the companies get a variety of opportunities. So it's not like you get someone you need, you have to take them on or they're going to look at you badly ever again, the, the intern guys. Uh, and with uh, applying for the different roles as an intern, you will be speaking to a number of companies. So it's a bit of a competitive situation, yeah? Yes, exactly. It's, it's, it's exactly the same when you are looking for a job. You, you talk to the company and if the company is good for you and you feel the, the same, you, you decide, okay, I want to work for this company now because it's going to be a good challenge, a, a good project. Uh, and then I might have a good future at the end of this project there. Or if not, the, uh, the learnings through this, through this period will be awesome. And then yeah, you can choose the company if you want to work for. And that's it. And, and of course, the companies can, you, you could keep Palo on if you wanted to, James, uh, I understand. Yep. Are you yep, definitely. Do that? Yeah, there's an option too. Uh, we're trying to work forward. So we love what Palo does. Um, definitely, if there's uh, anyone out there that's watching that's uh, thought about getting some ISO standards, uh, then reach out to us. Um, we've got some capacity. Fantastic. Um, so obviously, you think it was a great success and you go through this whole process again? Uh, 100%, yeah, like 
um, the the great thing about finding someone like Paolo uh, and the interns we've had in the past is that they bring fresh perspective. Uh, they've got experience. Um, most of them are completing a master's level or, or above degree. Um, so they're not sort of fresh graduates. They know how to tie their shoes. They know how to turn on a computer. Uh, I don't have to show them this kind of stuff. They're, they're experienced. And, and obviously in Paolo's case, he brings, you know, quite a, a tenured um, work experience background as well. No, that's absolutely fa fantastic. I know that you've actually had four interns so far and you've had a pretty good experience almost with every single one of them, yeah? Yeah, that's correct. Like one was uh, a little bit too far remote for us. Uh, we didn't get that weekly engagement with them that probably would have helped. Um, but uh, all the other interns have been great. Fantastic. So, look, thanks a lot for coming on today, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, Paolo, good luck in your career and, and, and finding another role. I hope it's with James because I know that he is a great guy to work for. Um, he is. He's very, yeah. very organised and thinks a little bit outside the box, which is fantastic stuff. So thanks for coming on, James, as well. No Thank worries. So thanks, Kevin. Thanks for the opportunity to share Paolo. And his, uh, thanks, James. Thanks. Whatever it is. Yeah.